In the next hour, the president is set to travel to Puerto Rico with the First Lady and FEMA Administrator Deanne Criswell. They're going to survey the destruction from Hurricane Fiona that hit more than two weeks ago. Thousands of people there still without power today. The president expected to announce millions of dollars in funding to help the island against future storms. He will then take a trip on Wednesday to Florida to tour the areas destroyed by Hurricane Ian. Tom Dempsey is in Washington with more on the president's visit. Tom. Hey, Marnie. Yeah, the president is scheduled to leave for Puerto Rico later this hour. But earlier this morning, the White House announced $60 million in new aid to help the island prepare for future storms. But, Marnie, to really put this, uh, you know, what the island is experiencing into perspective, Hurricane Fiona hit two weeks ago. But as of this morning, two weeks later, over 130,000 people still remain without power, and over 60,000 people still don't have access to clean water inside. Inside their homes. In total, leaders on, in Puerto Rico estimate the damage from this storm to be over $3 billion, but they're warning that that price could rise in the coming weeks. You can see some of the devastation here. Fiona made landfall as a Category 1 hurricane and knocked out power to 3 million people, many of those people living below the poverty line. There's lots of recovery work that's already been done, but our viewers will recall the devastation seen on the island following Hurricane Marie. Korea back in 2017. In a tweet uh, announcing the trip, President Joe Biden said, quote, we see what you're going through and we are with you. He also mentioned the need for aid at a Congressional Black Caucus event on Saturday. Our hearts, to state the obvious, you can't go without saying, are heavy. The devastating hurricane the storms in Puerto Rico, Florida, and South Carolina. And uh, yes, go. we owe Puerto Rico a hell of a lot more than they've already gotten. Again, the president leaves later this hour for Puerto Rico. He has plans to meet up with the governor of the island, and the president has already told him that the federal government plans to cover 100% of the cost for a debris cleanup and search and rescue efforts, Marnie. It will be important, Tom, for the president to see the destruction firsthand. All right, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.